Well, good morning, everyone. Today's project is a modification of a modification I did a while ago. I'm gonna get some lights turned on in here. Let's swing this around. So quite some time ago, I put a hydraulic lift on our bed. Well, our pedestal doesn't slide, but the bed does, and you really can't do that, but I was able to engineer and come up with a way to make it work. So um, we're having to go back and modify that a little bit, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But I just wanted to let you all know that we will get around to wandering around North America in the RV. Uh, just during the winter and cold months here, we're just doing a little bit of uh, maintenance and modifications to it instead of heading south for the winter like we did last year. So we will get out and start wandering around. So please go ahead and subscribe, like the videos, share with your friends. So not too long ago, I designed and built a hydraulic lift for the bed that slides in and out when the pedestal doesn't. So basically, we can one-handedly raise and lower the bed and the bed still slides in and out. And I did that with some hinges, some angle iron, a hydraulic lift, some hard white plastic, and some washers. Took a little bit of time to figure it all out and make it work, and it has been working great, but it has a little bit of difficulty coming in. And I finally figured out why, and that's what we're doing today is we're gonna fix it. So why it's coming in difficult is when I put these hinges on this two by four, I put them at the bottom or flush with the bottom of the two by four, so when the bed is down, they're perfectly 90 degrees from here to here. Thought it was a good idea. The problem is, is when it's down, it drags and it's catching on the pedestal. As you can see it a little bit there as well. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna undo these three screws and I'm gonna move this hinge all the way up to the top, drill three new holes and there's nuts on the back, which are very difficult to get to and raise it up so that when the bed is down, the bottom of this is higher than the bottom of this and it will clear and it will clear the uh, pedestal. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, if I remember correct, these are really very, very strong. I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect this before I take that last bolt out. Because I don't want things flying. Okay, let's go ahead and take this disconnected here and lay it down. The bed will come down a little bit, make it a little more difficult to work. But I don't want that thing flying. I'm just going to, on those existing holes, bring it all the way up. Okay, so we can't go all the way up because this angle iron is going to hit the plywood. So I'm going to go as high as I can, which should get it up off of that. Looks like I'm only going to be raising it up about a quarter of an inch. But that should suffice. I'm going to go get a pencil so I can mark this. All right. I want it right above where it was. But right there. All right, 
All right, let's go ahead and drill some holes and hope it lines up and works out. if I got it. those in not anywhere as easy as you would think I'm trying to get the washer and the nut started on the nut or on the bolt behind the 2 by 2 I'm gonna try and do one while I got the camera going Washer staying put. Let's see if I can get the nut started. Look at that. Piece of cake. Do the last one. Well, that wasn't easy, but I got all three of them started. Now I'm just going to tighten them up. We're just gonna start off by removing the hydraulic strut before we even do anything. Okay, we've got that off. Let's get the existing three screws off. You know what? Let me just go ahead and get this done. You saw me do the first one. I'll cover the whole bed here shortly. Well, we got it done. And interestingly, like most projects, I have one leftover part. Actually, I know about that. One of the uh, screws or drills holes I did on the new screw holes or bolt holes um, went on such an angle that I wasn't able to get that last washer on. But we've got it raised up um, about three eighths of an inch, which should give us enough clearance when we go to pull it in. Uh, I do need to get the vacuum and clean this mess up uh, so I don't get in trouble. Um, I'm sure most people understand that. Don't want to get in trouble by leaving a mess and then we'll start pulling it in and out and see how it goes trying to do this one-handed but success it comes all the way back in without bumping or doing a hiccup 
and solid as can be. So now we don't have to lift the bed anymore to raise it up. Well, I'm gonna call today's project a success. As you can see, I can now grab the bed with one hand and lift it and it stays up. All because of the hydraulic struts I put in and the bed still slides in and out without the pedestal moving. That was a project in itself, just trying to get all that done, but this little correction here wasn't that bad. So um, any questions, thoughts, or comments, please do so below. Leave a nice comment down below or you know, share it with your friends. Or if you have questions, leave a comment, I'll answer the questions. And of course, please go ahead and subscribe. We really do need to increase our subscribership. We kind of stalled. Uh, we'd like to get a few more subscribers. Um, that's it for the day. I uh, hope you learned something. hope you have wonderful camping trips, and we'll talk to you all soon.